an exact method for solving this. This is just a common piece. I think Rodney no, put it best. Do. It's a common piece of information you know. But you, you square root it. Pardon? Now square rooting it doesn't help because you don't you don't know oh, going, no, 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 no. you only know to square root it because you know right. that five is a square root of twenty five. See, Amanda, that's still in the realm of observation, not algorithm. Algorithm means a method that will always work. Okay. This one, all you can do is observe. This one, you need a method. Now, there's a couple of different methods you can use. Okay. What logarithms finally give you for the first time in your math career is a way to get a variable out of an exponent spot. Okay. It's whooshing. Problem is, whooshing only works for logarithms. Do I have logarithms here? No. No. So, not yet. Very good. Um, so, I need to take the logarithm of both sides of this equation. Oh, are you? Does it matter what base I use? No. So, I can take the logarithm of any base. No. All right. Base is that mine? 10, yeah. I need to really turn that off at the beginning of the day. Okay. Um, yes and no. If I don't have a calculator, there may be some good reasons to pick one base over another. If I am using a calculator to solve this, I have only two choices. What are they? Log base E. 10 and E. Base 10 and base E. Okay, I'm going to use base 10. Now I'm going to make this the log base 10 of 5 to the x equals the log base 10 of 26. Okay? Now I have logarithms on both sides. Now I can take this x and I can whoosh it down here. I'm going to now say something that might be obvious to some of you but is easy to forget. A logarithm is just a number. Just a number. It's often a hideous number. So then you do, the, you do log base 5 and log base 26 and you divide. Divide, right. I'm not going to save that step. This is no different than like 3 times x equals something. Use the same methods you've used since Algebra 1 or before I hope. So this is a number multiplied times x, so I am going to uh, write it, divide both sides by log base 10 of 5. This is my answer. At this point, I would need to pull out my calculator to tell you exactly what it is. Again, I'm pretty sure it's close to 2. All right. Any questions on that process? Okay, yeah, serious. Yeah. Death to, uh, if it's not, I'm going to be annoyed, right? But it's really. Okay, really, yeah, I know I've got one missed call. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Now, um. It's 2.02. It's 2.02? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is that curiosity? Does this look familiar? Yeah. Wait, um, is, are we having that? Um, I like getting here without a calculator because it's much easier for me to check your work. Like, if you start throwing in decimals right here, it's harder for me to see if you, where you messed up if you get the wrong answer, and that might hurt your partial credit. So wait till the last step for a calculator. But now, does this look part look familiar? It's really... So it's subtract. Yeah. But now, you can't do any... This Remember, that it's not log of 26 over 25. Brian just made a good point. Please do not confuse this. Oh, change of base, is it? Very good, Brian. Yeah. Please do not confuse it with this, where you can use subtraction. Can't do that. Log over log is not the same with log with division. So don't go there for this problem. But this looks like the change of base rule, right? Okay. Somebody rewrite this as a logarithm. What do you mean, Rearrange the same expression so it's a logarithm. You just did that. No, not exactly. Okay, how do you just forget the work I did? Rewrite this as a logarithm. What do you do with the logarithm? The base goes where? The base goes on the other side. No, the base, the, not the base, not the base goes down here to the little part, right? Yeah. Okay. The exponent is always the answer. So this is the same statement as this. What? Okay, guys, remember rearranging logarithms first day we did? I said that if you have an exponential statement, the base becomes lower than the little subscript here, and the exponent is always what the uh, logarithm is equal to. So it's equal to x? Yeah, and then if x is here, then that's what it's equal to. No, but can't you take what you found for x, like 2.02, and plug it in from the end? Yes, but I'm actually trying to show something else, and Brian, I think, is, is with me right now. I'm not sure who else is. This might not have been the best way to do it. 
Brian said this looked like the change of base rule here. Well, if I rearrange this, I get x equals log base 5 of 26. Over here, by following this process, I got x equals log 26 over log 5 with base 10. This is actually a proof that the change of, of where the change of base rule comes from. Okay, every time you solve an equation this way, you're using the change of base rule, and if you want, you can look at the original expression, rearrange it, and use the change of base rule instead. It's actually the same thing. Solving this equation this way is the same thing as using the change of base rule. Don't worry if you don't get that now. You don't have to. Um, Rebecca, follow me over this way, please. And now I'm going to show you a couple of other tricks. Um, I'll do another example of this. Okay, if I have 2 to the x equals 7. Someone tell me what sort of answer I should expect. How big, how small, in between what two numbers? Four and five. To me which? I think you're thinking multiplication. It's going to be a decimal, right? I think you're thinking multiplication. It's got to be less than two and more than three. They got it. It's got to be more than two and less than three. Two squared is four. Two cubed is 8. 7 is between 8 and 4, so 2 to the x. The x must be between 2 and 3. Which one do you think it's closer to? 2 or 3? Three. Three. I think it's be closer to 3 because 7 is closer to 8. Um, we'll see how right I am. So if I don't get 2 point something, I've done something wrong. That I do know. Okay. How would I rearrange this into a logarithm? Desmond? Close. It's log base 2. That part's right. Of 7, of 7 equals x. The answer is always the exponent. Exponent is always on the side of an equal sign. Okay? Um, what does the change of base rule say to do here? Uh, to make the, uh, so log 7 over log 2. Yeah. Log 7 over log 2. So that's my answer. Who's got a calculator? I do. 2.8. 2.8. That sounds about right. The other way I could have done this from here is I could have said that log base, to, uh, log base 10 of 2 to the x equals log base 10 of 7. Then I could whoosh down the exponent and get x times log base 10 of 2 equals log base 10 of 7, and then divide both sides by log base, two, log base 10 of 2. It's harder to say than to do. And I get the exact same thing as I did with the change of base rule. So I'm just going to ignore that you ever did that. <laughs> um, if you're good at rearranging, feel free to jump to here. If you're bad at rearranging, please show these steps. You take your pick, okay? <laughs> Which one do you think is really easy, Jordan? First one. You like the first one better? It should be really easy. But again, you've got to be good at rearranging to solve it this way. So okay. all you're doing in these new ones is just rearranging it to make it a, um, a logarithmic. Not like even. You just put the big end over on top. <laughs> no, no, no. What I mean is at the beginning, all you're doing is making it into a log, and then you... Uh, yeah, and then you use a change of base rule. Base, and that's it? Um, they'll get a little trickier than that. Let me show you a couple examples of when they get trickier. Um, and there's also another trick I have to show you. Wait, can I just honestly, like, can I just do this? Yes, but that won't work every time. See, now I've got to get to some more complicated ones. Okay? No, it's okay. I 